Hi, my name is Ying. I am a recent graduate of Laurier's Master of Arts in Community Music program. This research is a part of Creative Later Life in a Digital Age project. The case study is about the participants in Musical Lives Guitar Orchestra learning playing skills and performing together in an intergenerational setting, discovering what learning strategies are most impactful using digital tools. The project focuses on learning aspects in this community music group in relation with digital technology. We incorporate digital tools to aid learning and musicing. Participants are from a local area as well as cities 30 to over 100 kilometers away. We get together once a week in a room we rent from Cambridge Community Association. Each workshop is one and a half hour long with additional half an hour to work on techniques for any members that are interested. Our space is open to the community. Anyone can pop by and see what we do. We use DSLR, smartphone, webcam, and USB mic to record audio and video. Varieties of open source software are used to edit images and videos. We use MuseScore to create sheet music in addition to licensed material. Google Drive and YouTube are used to share scores, documents, and video tutorials. Many of our members are new to classical guitar style of playing. It is not easy to retain the information I share in the workshops, so a Guitar Basics video series was born. Participants can pause and replay as they wish. In the spirit of community music, these videos are public, open to anyone that would be interested. And hey, whoever is moving me around in this presentation, could you stop doing that? I'm getting dizzy. I've partnered up with a good friend of mine, Karen Agro, to host community concerts. Karen is a pharmacist, an awesome guitarist, and she organizes a group called Open Mic Guild for Classical Guitarists. Therefore, our concerts are named Musical Lives Open Mic. We work very well with our local library called Idea Exchange. The concerts are free, and we welcome musicians in all disciplines and playing levels to join us. This concert series provides a great opportunity for our community guitar orchestra members to share their hard work with others. In these concerts, we collect food donations for our local food bank. What you see on the screen are photos from Idea Exchange's newest location named Old Post Office. We love the river view room. Our stage is where the red arrow is pointing to. In March 2020, we entered a social distancing phase. Buildings were shut down and the concerts were canceled. I had a chat with our members via email and moved our workshops online via Zoom. Our community guitar orchestra program is subsidized by my company Musical Lives Inc. Even though the fee is very low, when the pandemic came, we decided to remove the fixed fee structure and made it pay what you can so that no one has to choose between learning music and put food on the table. Due to latency, we've moved away from orchestra work and concentrating on learning guitar techniques and solo pieces. I've also started to color code sheet music in music score so that it is easier to explain during screen sharing. Since I'm not able to walk over to our members to help them out as I could when we were in the same room. Let me introduce you to Karen, the lady who is holding a guitar, and Veronica, our friend and main contact at Idea Exchange, who's in the photo in front of her laptop. They are a dream to work with as we share the same goal and passion for our community. Our April concert had to be canceled, and we began to plan for online concerts at that time. In May, we had the first try on Zoom, and there were around 30 people registered and watched. In June, with the suggestion from Veronica, we played the concert on Zoom and Facebook Live at the same time via 
Idea Exchanges infrastructure, and we had over 900 views. A nice thing about online is that we were able to share music with far more people than just our local community. Here we have five points to share. One, many of our members found that video tutorials are very helpful when practicing at home. Everyone can learn at their own pace. Two, enter notes in MuseScore and use the playback function with user-defined tempo helps in learning new materials. Three, peer support demonstrated in physical space is evident in the digital world. Members with higher digital skill level often volunteer to create practice files in MuseScore and others would use the files and provide feedback for improvement and new ideas. Four, some aspects of online sessions are better than in-person workshops. For example, participants can see my finger movements better on screen. And pointing to the notes locations on the score is easier when sharing screen on Zoom. Number five, email with picture attachment is a good method to answer questions in between workshops. And yes, we have challenges. Let's look at four of them. One, some members preferred not to get involved with digital tools. They are happy with traditional methods of learning. Two, access to technology is an issue. It is difficult to join online sessions without high-speed internet and or adequate hardware. Three, online sessions don't feel the same socially as in-person workshops. Group interaction surely is very different when the mic is often muted to hear one person speak. Four, Without a physical place to go to, social distancing becomes social isolation, especially for seniors. Going to our workshop used to be a highlight of their week. Our community guitar orchestra season normally ends in April. This year, we have not stopped because we wanted to keep our members engaged throughout this difficult time. However, there is the access issue to deal with, as mentioned above. Should you wish to follow the progress of this project, here are the links of relevant web pages. You could also subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates. It has been great to be here with you, despite the fact that I got moved around all over the screen. Thanks for listening.